So this is a parable that Jesus told to everyone who was gathered around, just like you. And it goes like this, from Luke 15. <clears throat> then all the tax collectors and sinners drew near to him, and Jesus said, Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and his neighbors together and, re and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in the same way there is, there will be rejoicing in heaven over the one sinner who repents than over the 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. That was a great story. Yeah, that parable was so cool. Jesus said the shepherd lost one of his hundred sheep and he went out to find it. And he didn't stop looking for it until he found it. Do you think Jesus is comparing us to sheep? Do you think he is talking about us? Maybe, but if that's the case, then we're lost. Jesus keeps telling us these parables, and I'm getting to think he's talking about me. I was thinking the same thing. Jesus seems to know exactly what I'm thinking. We need to just keep following Jesus. Yeah, let's keep following him. He really speaks with authority. Do you think he really is the Son of God? You know, I think so. Who else can know our heart? Come on, let's go. I want to hear more from Jesus. Wow! Jesus told us a parable, didn't he? He told us another parable, and this one was about the lost sheep. And there was we get a visit from who? Does anyone remember? Who? Miss Sue! Hi, Miss Sue! Good morning, you guys! I am so happy to see all your faces. You guys, I have brought a ball python. And this is one of the snakes that lives in the rainforest. Did you say a ball python? Yes. Wow, what's his name? This is Fred. Isn't he beautiful? Wow. Ah. Fred is a little bit slithery, isn't he? <laughs> How old is Fred? Fred is actually about three years old. And and he is, you know, they live to be about 25. Well, be careful, you know, he's a little bit head shy. Really? Ball pythons really don't like to have their heads touched. But, What's kind of interesting about ball, ball, the ball python is he actually makes a very good pet. Oh, really? Yes. He is actually something that you guys could have in your house. I'm not sold yet. He's <laughs> <laughs> one of the top four pet snakes that you can actually have. So you said three years old and Fred's already like this long? Well, he can only get to about, whoop, there he goes. He gets to be about five and a half feet you know, at, at, his, at his hot, at his longest. Oh, okay. So it's not one of these that is going to be 30 no, feet no, long. No, this is, he's almost full grown. Right? Okay. But he's beautiful. Can I touch him? Well, yeah, go ahead. Just give a try. Yeah, he's very oh, scaly, isn't he? It's like totally different from our skin. He is. Wow. So anyway, uh, he does not live up in the trees in the rainforest. He lives on the ground. And what he hunts, he hunts rodents, and he hunts rats, and he lives in there in their uh, little road holes during the day, and he comes out at night. So he's kind of a nocturnal snake. So what do you feed him here? Because you don't have a lot of rodents, do you? Well, I don't. There he goes. He's so funny. <laughs> Aren't you afraid he's going to eat you? Well, you know what? What he does is what a python does is he wraps himself around his prey and he squeezes it until it's dead, and then he eats it. But no, he couldn't squeeze me. Okay. But, uh, what was your question? Oh, uh, well, I was, I was asking if he was, you were afraid it was going to eat oh, you, but no, that sounds like you're no, okay I'm, with that. No, I'm, I'm okay with Fred. Yeah. He's then, just, he's a pet, but he's, um, he, you know, he's something that takes a little bit of care. You have to give them attention, just like other animals. You have to clean their cages and, and be really uh, attentive to them. They, they can't live on their own. But he eats frozen rodents. We actually get the rodents frozen, we thaw them out, and then we get to them. Does he get, like we get ice cream headaches, does he get frozen rat headaches? <laughs> that is such a good question. I'm, I'm kind of wondering that myself, you know, because they are finicky eaters. Maybe that's why they get more finicky, although Fred is a pretty good eater, but 
Some of these ball pythons are not really good either. So okay. Maybe they're getting frozen with headaches. Well, great. Do you want to take a look at our verse for this oh, month? We've Fred got a new one. Yeah, you know, Fred, can you see the verse for this okay. okay. So we've got, we've got, actually, I'd love it if everybody can say it with me. Let's do the Let's one on the top. Fred. It's our verse Fred. from Ephesians. <laughs> Discover how wide and deep is the love of Christ. And that comes from the Bible. And so the part where we take that from the Bible is from Ephesians. So let's go ahead and say this from Ephesians. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. So that's from Ephesians 3, 17 through 8. So God loves us a lot, doesn't he? And he loves his animals. You know, he made all these animals. So he loves these animals, but he loves you even more. Look how much he loves us. Wide and long and high and deep. That's a lot of love. Well, I've got to get Fred back to the more part teaching soon. <laughs> thanks a lot, Miss Sue. We'd like to go and slither away, but thanks you guys for coming, yeah. and we'll see you next time with a new animal. Come visit us at the more part teaching Let's soon. hear it from Miss Sue.